is the 2021 Honda Odyssey, a minivan that costs 180,000 dirhams. And by the end of this review, I'm going to try and prove why you should buy one of these over an SUV as your next family car. Let's get started. Now I know what some of you may be thinking, that's an Odyssey. There's no way I'd ever buy one of those for my family. But what if I were to tell you that it's actually fun to drive? Would you be interested? With a 3.5 litre V6 up front, the Odyssey offers 280 horsepower and 355 newton meters of torque to play with. What those numbers mean is that when you mash the accelerator pedal to the floor, it will wheel spin all through first gear. And since it is a high revving Honda engine, it sounds weirdly good while doing it too. Yes, I'm talking about engine sound in a Honda Odyssey. But now let's tone it down a notch and drive it the way it's meant to be driven. Although the Odyssey is a big car, it's nearly 10 inches longer than something like a Toyota Land Cruiser or a Nissan Patrol, it really doesn't feel it. The visibility is great. The steering is very light, making it easy to drive and maneuver. And the suspension is extremely soft, ironing out any bumps or imperfections in the road. In addition to things like active noise cancellation, which make the cabin quieter and more luxurious, the Odyssey is fitted with Honda Sensing, the brand's suite of active and passive safety features that include lane keeping assist, road departure mitigation, adaptive cruise control, forward collision avoidance, and blind spot monitoring, all of which work together to make the Odyssey one of the safest cars that you can currently go out and purchase. And hey, those aren't just my words, but those of the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, the IIHS as well. From a design perspective, Honda hasn't changed much. And that's a good thing because the cabin of the Odyssey has always been spacious and practical. There's a 7-inch screen in the instrument cluster, an 8-inch touch infotainment screen, and plenty of storage bins and cubby holes all around that have been made possible because of things like a push-button gear selector as opposed to a traditional lever. In the second row, there's plenty of headroom and legroom, and to make sure those in the back are truly comfortable, the seats slide forwards and backwards as well as recline. There's also privacy shades on either side, AC vents, charging outlets, and a 10.2 inch overhead screen. The last row in an SUV tends to be the place where you put children or people you don't like very much. But that definitely isn't the case in the Honda Odyssey. There's plenty of headroom and with 38 inches of legroom, there's more than enough space to fit three adults comfortably. There's AC vents, cup holders, charging outlets and privacy shades on either side. It's thoroughly impressive. When it comes to the features, Honda hasn't held back. And so it's got everything from a sunroof to ventilated seats and a 10 speaker audio system to a wireless charger. There's also Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as a three zone climate control system. But don't be impressed because these are not the features that really set it apart. Standout feature number one. Most inbuilt car navigation systems tend to be slow, laggy and not particularly useful simply because of how outdated they are. That is not a problem in the Odyssey because it is fitted with a Garmin navigation system. However, if for some strange reason, if you don't like the interface, you can always plug your phone in and use Google Maps on the screen. Standout feature number two, cabin talk. Because of how large the Odyssey is, the engineers knew that having a conversation between the first and last rows could prove challenging. To fix this, they fitted the Odyssey with an in-car PA system. Switch the mic on and the system carries the driver's voice through the speakers to the second and third rows. It's amazing because even if your kids are watching a movie on the roof mounted screen with their headphones plugged in, it'll override that and get your message across. Standout feature number three, cabin watch. A roof mounted camera allows you to keep an eye on the back seats without having the need to constantly keep turning around. It's great if you have little kids in the back, it's fitted with night vision so you can see clearly even if it's dark outside and it also gives you the option to zoom in individually on any one of the seats. Now tell me, which SUV is going to give you all of that?
as part of its facelift, the Odyssey has received a new set of LED headlights and fog lights, a new grill and a new bumper as well. But quite frankly, I'm not a big fan of it. I understand the designers have tried replicating the look and feel of the Accord and Civic with the sleek headlamps and chrome strip. But while those cars look good, the Odyssey just looks a little obese. To clean up its appearance, the designers have hidden all the sensors for the adaptive cruise control system and the forward collision mitigation system behind this glass enclosed Honda logo. Since this is the full option model or touring in Honda's words, it also gets 19 inch alloy wheels and power sliding doors that can be controlled from the key fob. At the back, it's all quite familiar with the biggest change being the chrome strip that used to connect the LED tail lamps being black in colour now. The tailgate is height adjustable, meaning if you've got a low garage roof, you can set it to open just half or three quarter of the way instead of going all the way. And boot space is absolutely massive. Even with all three rows of seats in use, there's plenty of storage available. But if you were to take out the second row of seats and fold the third row flat, you're looking at nearly 4,000 litres of storage space, which is more than what any SUV would be able to offer. When most people want to purchase a family car, they go out and purchase a large SUV. And in doing so, they end up paying for a lot of things that they are never ever going to use, such as a four-wheel drive system, locking differentials, and the list goes on. The Honda Odyssey, on the other hand, with a starting price of just 145,000 dirhams and a full option price of 180,000 dirhams, is far more comfortable to transport a family, far safer to transport a family, and far more spacious to transport a family. Not to forget all the other cool tech the Odyssey offers that no other SUV seems to offer. So, the real question, is it time we started buying more minivans instead of SUVs as family cars? I sure seem to think so. Thanks for watching.